Right, evening everyone, it's Anik Town TV once again, we're at St James's Park on a Wednesday night when we've had a very enjoyable game of football, which we'll get into very shortly. We're joined by Richie Latimer, um, the games are coming thick and fast, we've got a lot to talk to Richie, and uh, I want to go into the cup final, but I just want to tell all the viewers that you were happy to do an interview after the final, but it was me that was in the hoof. <laughs> But you, you were yeah. you were more than happy to do one. Um, talk us through that. It must have been going through every emotion under the sun in ninety minutes of football. Yeah, it was a uh, it's a tough it was a tough one to take really. Um, again, I say it quite often these days. I think it was a game of two halves. That really you know, was, was really was. If ever there was one. Yeah, it was. I mean, the support was excellent. You know, it was a beautiful night for it as well. You know, we went we were confident. Um, First half, I think we've done very, very well. Uh, dominated, really. Dominated. Uh, game probably missed too many chances in the first half. You know, we should be going in half time. Con a controversial disallowed goal. Um, yeah. uh, I th if that had gone in, I think that could have changed. changed yeah, it. It, it, it did. I personally, I'm going to say that, but. I, I, I didn't say anything wrong with uh, the Michael Laws header. Neither did any of us. The no, fact that we were we were all jumping around going yeah, mad, and then yeah. we got the fight of our that. lives when it was pulled back. As was that, but at the time of the goal, I think we're we're on top. You know, I think Wallington was struggling to sort of keep up with the pace of the game. How you know the areas we were playing in. You know, we looked pretty solid in his defend in defending. You know, getting the, the ball into good areas. Just like that cutting edge, just like that cutting edge in the first half. Like Up the it, wick! <laughs> All right, Liam. <laughs> and like you see, it, it, at the time the goal got disallowed, I think if, if that goal goes in, I think Wallet's head dropped a little bit more, and it obviously gives you a bit of a lift going into half time, and you know, in a different situation. But in the second half, yeah, uh, Wallington were the better team for parts of it. Yeah. But you took the lead with 15 minutes yeah. to go. Yeah. Again, I think you know we came out second half. I think. We'll Got left in the change rooms a little bit, you know. I think obviously Wallet are always going to come into the game. They're going to have spells in the game, you know. And I think well, reaching half time nil nil alone would have lifted dead. Yeah, yeah, well, without a shadow of yeah. doubt. But you know, Wallet come out and they were the better team in the second half. You know, they started getting the ball forward a little bit. We started to tire. We started to tire, which you know, at Blue Flames it's a big pitch, you know. And obviously, we keep talking about the amount of games we've, we've had. Again, it started catching up, but. Like you see, Louis scored, you know, brought Louis on. Uh, Inspired excellent. substitution. Yeah, <laughs> excellent finish from you know, use his pace, you know, brave, got him behind, you know, with I think it was 16 minutes ago, you're sort of looking at, you've got a half an eye on the cup, you know. Yeah. Um, and I think again, you know, considered a poor time, you know, not long after we scored, I think, and it naturally happens when you score, you, you sort of tend to say, right, well, we'll keep what we've got, and they naturally drop back, you know, give them a little bit too much freedom. In around the box, and to be fair to the lad at Wallen, it was a it was a hell of a finish. Oh, he, he knew as soon as he hit it. Yeah. he turned away as soon as he hit it. Yeah, hell, and it just had that feeling after that. You know, you could see tired legs. You know, heads dropped a little bit. You know, and Wallen obviously on top, getting a great goal, which gives him a big lift. And I think obviously the second goal was, you know, tired legs. You know, trying to, to try to clear the ball two or three times. It's popped out the, the Jordan and I suit. To be fair. To put one in the bottom yeah, corner, and I think after that, I think you know, my final was sort of done. You know, would would ruin myself in the ground. It was just disappointing, like I say. You know, it's, a, it's an excellent uh, support. It wasn't. It, it was a great. It was a great game, and yeah. hopefully, it's given uh, uh, your lads a uh, taste of what it's like to yeah. play in these big occasions. And these are, you know, this is why we've come to Anik Town. These are the games we want to play in. You know, again, it's my first season in which a cup final. You know, it's nothing to be sort of um, down about. You know, it's it's a big achievement. You look at some big teams in our league who didn't get there. You know, and it is a big cup. But you no, know, I think um, come the 90 minutes, I think a little bit of quality Wallet had. You know, just just shared it for them. You know. Well, there's another cup final, uh, cup quarter final coming up. I beg your pardon, which we'll yeah. talk about in a minute. But that was Friday night. You said how tired the lads were. They yeah. left everything out there, and I yeah. mean everything. And then you've got to go to Gateshead for a six o'clock kickoff on a Monday night. Yeah. How did you manage with your squad there? And I wasn't at the game, but yeah. I hear it wasn't one of the best. No, it was. You know, the lads. Will, I've told the lads this as well. You know, it was a very poor, very poor performance. In fact, probably the worst I've had as an Tan manager. You was know. it was that a hangover from the cup, or was it just tired legs, or was it players couldn't get for that time of kickoff? I think it, it's a case of all three. All three, yeah. You know, I mean. 
getting beaten the final, you know, and putting the game so close after it, you know, away at Gateshead Rolf, mm. like you say, on a, on a Monday night. At six o'clock, you know, not seven o'clock, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And it was the game. The game caught up, you know. I think that's not taking anything away from Gateshead right. uh, Rutherford. Exactly. You know, they they were at it. You know, they they've also played. You know, Monday, Wednesday, yeah. Saturday. But when you've obviously been beating the cup final, you're a little bit deflated. We've got a few injuries at the minute. You know, so we're sort of shifting players around in different positions, trying to use our squad as best we can. Well, let, let's go for it tonight. It's a happier occasion. Yep. It's a five-nil win. Mm -hmm. um, I thought you were on top from the start. Yeah. I thought you controlled the game throughout. Percy mm -hmm. Mayan gave everything as always do. They're a great club, Percy Mayan. Yeah, yeah, uh, fantastic. You know, I've known the lads for a lot of years. Yeah, they're, they're a great football club. Great club. They came and they gave everything. Uh, they went down to ten men. For a while, I didn't think that affected anything. Not really. Again, it's, you know, tonight was a big match for yeah. going into Saturday. Good you know, crowd tonight. Yeah, well. it was a good crowd. Again, you know, it's... Really appreciate that to come, you know, on a Wednesday night. But yeah, we needed that win tonight. You know, at times it was scrappy. You know, uh, when they went down to ten, you know, your tired legs mm -hmm. again. But you know, it was, it was good to get Hobby back on the pitch. Good goal, you know, he scored. Yeah, yeah, Jake back on the pitch. You know, again, just rotating that squad a little bit. Um, Louis obviously come on and do a lot better tonight uh, on the right side. But it was all about the results. It was all about the results, and obviously. Percy Mayne, it's, it's a tough place to come on a Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll come to the part of the season now where it is Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, you know, and especially when you're not sort of playing for anything, you know, it's it's not a nice time of the season to try and get a squad. So Derek done very well getting a squad to come up here in the Absolutely. first place because it's been a tough Absolutely. season for Percy Mayne. They've obviously had a few changes here, yeah. you know, but well, they, just a great club. They just keep, they just seem yeah, to keep yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, proper But your goal scorer tonight was spread about a bit. Kieran got one, Dominic got one, good goals. Yeah. Uh, your substitute, Ben, he came on, he got a brace. Yeah. And then yeah. I was I was pleased for Brad at the end to get yeah. one, to knock one in his day. He was frustrated nights. the night, wasn't he? Been one of them nights, but it's two ways of looking at it. You can see, yeah, he's missed chances. Whatever. But he's got in position. But he's there, you know what I mean? And that's the main thing. I mean, Brad's obviously still a new, new player in the fold, you know, and just get to learn how we're playing and whatnot. But I think he's done very well since he's come in. Uh, I you know, do I think too. He's like very well coming in. And I was, just, I was pleased to see him get his yeah, goal. A little bit of sharpness will come back though. You know, uh, um, but a little word for one of the other substitutions. I thought he had an excellent game tonight. Uh, Richie, how come you were on the pitch tonight? Yes, that's that's where we are numbers wise. You know, and uh, I saw I you go up for a corner. I thought you got a nosebleed. Uh, no, that was I couldn't get back from the last <laughs> attack. To be fair. <laughs> no, like I say, I mean. If, if I can help the lads out, you know, Shep got a dead leg, got a big game on Saturday, you know, so... And you, you secretly enjoy it. It was comfortable at the time, I thought it's uh, it's probably safe enough to <laughs> I bring can it give on, because you know, Percy Mayne had done a lot of running. So let's go to Saturday, it's a League Cup, it's a quarter-final, yep. uh, a winnable game, I feel, mm -hmm. down at Whitley Bay Reserves. Yep. Uh, it's a Saturday, mm -hmm. so hopefully you'll have a more manageable squad, get players back, or... Yes and no. no, we've got a few yeah. players missing, again you come to the time of the season where people start going away a little bit as well. We've got players back, no, don't get us wrong, so the lads who will be, will be missing, you know, we have got lads to come in again. And then is, is there a game here on the uh, front on Monday? Yes, Holtbus on the bank holiday Monday. On the so Monday. What time are we kicking off on that one? It's a seven o'clock kick, but I know Holtbus are coming up um, on a bus, I think, I think they're staying overnight, so again, a, you know, be a good atmosphere up here. So that's a good, it's a good thing to plug. Anik Town TV, we're here on yeah, uh, yeah. On, on Easter Monday. So on get yourself here. Hopefully, there'll be a good result to report from the cup quarter final. Yeah, Richie, deal. just keep it going. You're doing a great job, you and your team. Yeah, we know it's a much. tough part of the season. Yeah. I mean, if, if Premier League managers were having to put up with these fixtures, they'd be crying and whinging and moaning. Yeah. But players, uh, people like yourself, Percy Mayan, you just get on with it. Yeah, it yeah. is what it is and the way you, know, you go. It is a big shout out to the lads because it is difficult when you've been to work, you mm. know, and you're travelling all over the place of football. So the commitment and it has been like that all season. You know, we've never not turned up without the squad all season, you know, and it's still still the same. I'm probably Saturday we might be leaving a couple out again that just shows you, you know. The I'm gonna ask you a really stupid question, it's just come into my head. Yeah. With all the games coming thick and fast, surely you're not doing training sessions, you're just using no. match day. No, it's just match day now, you know, it's uh, uh, you, 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 you kinda of fit one in. You're getting a couple of days to recover, you know. Yeah. And again, like I said when I was walking in now, some lads are still up playing Sunday morning, some lads are still playing uh, college football, so 
there's a lot of football getting played towards the end of the season, so it's difficult, you know, but to get a 5 0 win tonight, I'm very, very happy. Ev words. Everyone's very happy. Yeah. From Anecdote TV, Richie, keep on going, and as always, we thank you so much for giving your time up after the match and coming yeah. to talk to us, especially no after problem. all the fixtures that have been coming up. Richie, thank no you so problem. much, we'll speak to you soon. Thank you very much, lads. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank